Hello everyone, welcome to another video from BASU BTEC. So today we will see how to get the area using double integration, area between two curves. Okay. Usually in our lower classes we have studied that if we are given with two curves, let one be a parabola facing upwards and let the next curve, the second curve be a straight line passing through origin. And if we need to get the area between these two curves, what we do is we find the intersecting point first. Okay, so let that be a comma b, a being the x coordinate and b be the let b be the y coordinate. Okay, we know that integrating a function means getting the area between that function, that curve, with respect to one of the axes, either x or y. Okay. So, I have already uploaded one video saying about the theory behind the integration, about simple integration, double integration, triple integration. So, what we, how to get the area using simple integration means, see integral, let us say if y is equal to 2x, okay, the straight line b of equation y equal to 2x. What we do is y of line, that is line equation in terms of y dx means we get the area under that particular line till this x axis because I am integrating with respect to x axis. So, while I do integral y of this line with respect to x axis, I get the area between this green line till this x axis, okay, this complete right triangle, I get till, I mean I get all the area under this straight line, okay. And when I do integral y of parabola dx that is let us say if this parabola is having y square equal to oh sorry let us say y is equal to 2x square be the equation for parabola. So, when I integrate this parabola with respect to x axis what I get is the area under this parabola which is this area this complete area okay. So, once I subtract the area under the parabola from the area under the line, see area under the parabola is this part and area under the line is this part. So, once I subtract area under the parabola from area under the line, I get the shaded area, isn't it? So, integral y line minus integral y of parabola gives the area, the required area. Okay, and everything is done between C rho to A. Okay, everything is done between C rho to A. This is the usual way to get the area between two curves using the simple integration. And on today's lecture, let us see how to get the area using double integration. So, let us start the video. So, I have taken the same curves y equal to 2x square the parabola and y equal to 2x. Okay, we have to get the area between y equal to 2x square the parabola and y equal to 2x your straight line. Okay, here also the first step is to get the intersecting point. Okay, so the intersecting point is over here and here. This is of course the origin and what about this point? Let us solve these two equations, the parabola equation and the straight line equation. That is y equal to 2x square and y equal to 2x. So, equating 2x square is equal to 2x or x is equal to 1, isn't it? So, this point has got its x coordinate as 1. So, what then will be the y coordinate? For that, let us take any of these two equations. That is, let us take y equal to 2x. And see, when x is equal to 1, you get 2 into 1, that is 2. So, corresponding y coordinate will be 2, okay. Thus, the points are got. Now, let us write the double integration format. That is double integral dx dy. It says that you need to integrate this twice. That is, first you need to integrate with respect to x axis. 
and next time the answer of that integration must be integrated again with respect to y axis okay also here you can see two integral signs and two variables that is y limits the extreme variable here is dy isn't it so the we have to write the limits of y in the extreme integral sign and limits of x in the inner side integral sign okay so let's see what all are the limits for y and x and again you can have only constants in the outside limits outside integral sign must contain only constants okay simply number or uh, you know only numbers can be there in the outside integration but for the inside integral limits you can expect to have either constant value or a function okay in the lower limit also because this integral sign is inside some other integrals so we can have the limits either a constant or a function okay so let's see uh, let's check out how to get the limit values for dy the y axis okay and here the area under our concern is this thing send it and since we are focusing to get the limits for this y axis we can see that the complete area ranges from 0 to the y axis i mean 2 in the y axis send it so we will have the outer limits as 0 to 2 and dy okay so the y axis is set okay now let's see what about the limits in along the x axis that is we have to put the limits for the inside integral the inner integral okay so what will be the lower limit and upper limit in this x axis along this x axis for that you need to actually draw see we are aiming at the x axis so we have to draw a horizontal strip inside this area okay a horizontal a very thin horizontal strip okay and i mean the left side boundary of this horizontal strip we can see that the left side boundary is the equation of the straight line okay and this will become our lower limit and the right side boundary of the horizontal strip is that of the parabola's boundary so this right side limit becomes our upper limit what i mean is see the left side boundary is that of the straight lines so we have to write uh, the straight line equation over here that is the straight line equation in terms of x to be specific that is we know that straight line equation is y equal to 2x so what is x x is equal to y by 2 okay so that must be written as your lower limit x is equal to y by 2 why we make an equation for x means we are aiming at the limits in the x axis see dx so which is why we are writing the equation for x uh, in from the straight line equation and also the upper limit upper limit means the right side boundary right side boundary belongs to that of parabola so y equal to 2x square let's form equation for x from this equation that is y by 2 is equal to x square or root y divided by root 2 is equal to x so that becomes your upper side limit or the upper limit that is root of y by 2 okay now it's time to integrate normally that is let's integrate the inside first okay so it's like integral 1 dx integral 1 dx is x in the limits y by 2 to root of y by 2 that is upper limit is root of y by 2 minus lower limit is y by 2 okay now this is your answer and we have to integrate or we have to put the next integration here integral 0 to 2 dy okay let's see integral root y means y raised to half y raised to half got its integration as y raised to half plus 1 that is y raised to 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 divided by the constant root 2 send it root 2 is there in the denominator minus integral y is y square by 2 and here there is 2 in the denominator okay and the limits is put from 0 to 
okay so the upper limit minus lower limit that is 2 by 3 root 2 into 2 raised to 3 by 2 minus y equal to 2 means 2 square by 2 square isn't it so it is 1 okay and lower limit is simply 0 minus 0 okay so let us reduce this you have got many 2's here 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 3 by 2 divided by 3 into 2 raised to half minus 1 isn't it that is equal to 2 raised to 1 plus 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 divided by 3 minus 1 which is 2 raised to 1 plus 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 1 1 plus 1 2 2 square by 3 minus 1 that is 4 by 3 minus 1 which is 1 by 3 is your answer okay so that is it this is how you take area between two curves using double integration method I will get back to you with another interesting question under the same topic double integration. So, if you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. So, till we meet in the next class, this is Meenu signing off. Thank you and take care.